pictures it's going to record. <clears throat> All right, is it? I'm not, I am. Okay. Is that crooked? Is it? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to your daily guidance. Okay. I would like to bring in the fairies. Okay. Thank you. I just heard them like, yay. Okay. Uh, what do you guys have to say this magical day? Mermaids and dolphins. I don't know if you guys know that deck, but it's pretty cute. You think so? What are you over there saying, Annie? What are you over there saying? Cutie pie. All right. Pay attention. Notice repetitious signs and in your inner guidance as they can yield valuable information. <laughs> so, pay attention. Did you see Annie float by? <laughs> okay. What do we need to be paying attention to? Wait, hang on. There's another one. Break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Oh, now Annie's playing with my rose. With my rose oil. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She's got the rose oil. Alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, and then a new dawn. Uh, the worst is now behind you and a positive new experiences are on the horizon. I just feel like the universe is giving you a bunch of signs and syn synchronicities. And she is confirming that. Um, that are encouraging you to go outside your comfort zone. You're being encouraged to go break free from the norm, from what you're used to, from what you've always done. And try something new for once. Um, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? Um, declutter. So they want you to declutter, declutter and get ready for this. Oh, it's going to declutter you too. Conscious consumer. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decisions to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only what you need. And decluttering is kind of the uh, like around the same same thing is like when you at a time like this, when you leave everything that you've known behind and you go toward the new, you get to reevaluate everything, reorganize everything and only keep those things that are truly valuable for you valuable tools, valuable concepts, valuable ideas. Um, so only keep that which is valuable, truly valuable. Okay, so, and what's gonna happen if the viewer jackpot, okay. I always take that as the jackpot because all these treats come pouring down. Okay, what's gonna happen for this person if they choose this? uncomfortable path that they're seeing tons of signs and synchronicities about. Oh, interesting. Okay, you come out, come out of hiding, come out of denial. What else? Right. Start a brand new adventure. A whole new, fresh, inspired start. Uh, you might give or get some kind of an offer, a romantic offer. <laughs> you're going to love yourself and from that love for yourself it's going to pour out into those around you your family your friends um, your work even <clears throat> you're going to go away from those worries that were keeping you stuck behind those ideas and concepts that are no longer serving you are going to drop away because you're going to realize oh my gosh I was worried for nothing this was just toilet paper I was wrapped in it's nothing serious and because you choose to break through from those fear, fears and insecurities and um, any kind of concepts that were holding you bound by your own mind, 
you're going to save your family. You're going to you're going to keep your you're going to steer your family toward um, away from drama and negativity into a safer place. Um, conscious consumer comes to mind with that as well because um, so, um, as we're going through this awakening, we're realizing that we've been supporting nefarious uh, activities and means. And going forward, as we start choosing what's truly aligned with spirit and our love for ourselves and look, doing doing our research and only aligning with all of those things that um, are authentic to us and actually are um, um, beneficial, beneficial to humanity is what we're aligning up with. Um, then you're going to be have a harmonious family. You're going to go into a happy time. Look at the bottom of the deck is the sun. <laughs> so, um, and the sun is, uh, is, it makes all the rest of the cards in the deck the most positive meaning it can possibly be. So, you're being called to a time of healing. You're being called to a time of getting back to the most authentic version of yourself possible. You're healing your heart. You're healing your mind. You're healing every aspect of you and you're making an offer towards someone or receiving an offer for a new beginning, a new inspired beginning that's going to cause you to declutter. It's going to cause you to align with only purposes and, um, and business ventures and opportunities and things that are of everybody's highest good. So keep following those signs and synchronicities. Be willing to go break past your comfort zone and go do something um, different. And you have the Midas touch. And anything that you put your, your mind to and your actions toward are going to serve you very well going forward in the future. So uh, let's get a Kuan Yin with that. And a jackpot's coming. Okay. Unpredictable grace. It's not lack of courage that makes you question the path before you sometimes. It's uncertainty. There's no need to doubt. Just step to just steps to take one after another, and as you do this, all can unfold as it must, with the blessing of my powerful, if unpredictable, grace. So just trust this path you're on, as uncomfortable as it may be, and go for it. Take a leap of faith. You will be glad that you did. Have yourself a beautiful day. Talk to you tomorrow.